The Prime Minister in Parliament reminded the nation of the important role forests play not only to PNG but the entire globe. We are an oxygen producing nation. We are a great carbon sink. Our forest today cleanses the global atmosphere of over 90 to 100 million metric tons of carbon dioxide every year. Forest on the island of New Guinea, PNG on the east and Indonesia on the west form the third largest rainforest behind the Amazon and Congo. Mr. Marape, in his recent address to the United Nations, called on the industrial countries to play their part. It is time the big carbon emitters of planet Earth own up and apologize to small island states and all other victims of climate change. And I make this statement with no apologies. And today I make a call for all of us and especially to the big carbon emitting nations who are now enjoying their national economic transformations through industrialization to pause, think, and take responsibility to save our planet. In as far as funding is concerned, he stressed PNG mustn't be seen as a country only vulnerable to climate change effects, but also a contributor. After all, its forest is helping the world. Uh, we're just not a victim of climate change, but we have this global asset. We clean your pollutions. We only emit 10 to 15 million metric tons of carbon a year. The forest, however, has come under threat by illegal and unsustainable logging. Such deficient forest governance and poor adherence to our own forest-related laws and regulations has been ongoing for decades. Local NGO ECNA has done research into the area and is concerned. Between 1972 and 2014, PNG lost 9 million hectares of primary rainforest, an area that is approximately the size of Portugal. This includes areas where the forest has been completely cleared and areas where forest has been degraded through selective logging operations. Since 2014, the SADL land grab and the expansion of export logging has seen these areas grow even more larger. The rainforest in PNG is the lifeline of the people beyond its monetary use. Eddie Tanago says this must not be forgotten. To think of forests just for the economic value or the carbon they absorb usually underestimates or underrates all the vital roles they fulfill from sustaining rural communities and our rich cultures, the spiritual beliefs and the traditions to being an integral part of the huge ecological systems. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.